Welcome to Toronto, Canada and the Toronto Pearson International Airport. This video will provide information by way of a walkthrough right from my plane seat into the airport through immigration using a primary inspection kiosk, also known as an e-gate that was very fast, through to the luggage, which was also very fast, and then out into the airport where we will outline your travel options to get to your destination. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Toronto Pearson International Airport. Now just to give you a little context, we're getting off the plane here. Uh, it was a four hour flight from Cancun to Toronto. We have just landed, it's about midnight. We took off at around eight o'clock. Uh, everything's on time, but like I said, we're arriving at the terminal, Terminal 3 in Toronto Pearson International Airport around midnight here and I've read all the stuff everybody else has probably read about this Toronto International Airport that it was recently voted worst in the world for flight delays and long lines so I can't say I'm looking forward to getting off the plane here and trying to get home like I said it's midnight already it's been a long day we woke up in Playa del Carmen this morning about 6 a.m. went out for a nice beach walk uh, the, if you've seen some of my seaweed videos, seaweed is bad in Playa del Carmen right now. Um, so we had a, a, a smelly walk on the beach today, then we were up and down 5th Avenue, came back to our place, we packed, somebody picked us up at a shuttle around 3.30, took us to the Cancun airport, which took about an hour and a half to get there. We checked in, no problems checking in, flight was on time. And like I said, we took off four hour flights, midnight now, we're looking to get home. And uh, we still have about an hour drive in order to get home. So uh, we'd like to get in bed before 2 a.m. That's what I'm trying to say here. So it's been recently voted worst in the world for flight delays and long lines. Let's see what happens. This video is rolling in real time and it's exactly two minutes from deplaning, getting out of my plane seat to, on the right here, you can see the primary inspection kiosk, also known as e-gates. There's no long lineup. We are gonna head to the primary inspection kiosk or e-gate and get this thing rolling. Two minutes from my plane seat to the kiosk or e-gate. That's pretty fast. It took us three minutes to complete this step. It would have taken us two minutes, but we didn't know what the heck we were doing. So because of some private information being shown on the video here, I'm gonna fast forward, but I'm also going to read to you from the Toronto Pearson Customs and Immigration um, section of the computer, how to use this PIK or Primary Inspection Kiosk or eGate. So it says if you're arriving at Pearson on an international flight, you can use a primary inspection kiosk, PIK or e-gate to confirm your identity and submit your customs declaration. Up to five travelers living in the same country can use a kiosk together. Now, how do you use the PIK or e-gate? Number one, scan your travel documents, which basically is your passport. Number two, take your photo at the kiosk when prompted. Three, answer a few questions to complete your declaration. And four, take your kiosk receipt to a border service officer. And like I said, it took us three minutes, but if we would have known what the heck we were doing, it would have taken us two minutes. And it says here at the bottom, look for one of our representatives if you need help using the kiosk. Well, we needed some help, but we're on our way. And that was fast. Less than 10 minutes ago, I was sitting on the plane. Uh, we've already been through the e-gate immigration PIK primary inspection kiosk. And now we're going for a walk. Uh, the expectations are that we're going to hit luggage pretty soon. Now, I've never done that e-gate thing before. It's always been a long lineup where you had to go and talk to somebody, show them your documents. 
and usually it took a bit of time. So I'm not sure what the next step is here, if we're going right to luggage uh, or what we're gonna be doing. But uh, now they've taken this human element out of it. We went to a machine, we did our immigration customs with a machine here and we were holding this piece of paper and we're walking around looking to give it to somebody. Now I, I probably that's why this place was voted worst in the world for flight delays and long lineups. I've talked to a number of pilots, flight attendants, people that work in the airport here and I would ask them what was the problem? Like why was it so bad? Um, there was a guy named Ray Whitney, some NHL hockey player. One of his videos went viral where he got stuck in the Toronto airport here for 24 hours or something and he couldn't get out and he went snap show and uh, it went viral, whatever his little uh, thing on TikTok or Instagram that he did and then it all came out in the papers that this place was horrible. So, so far everything looks okay. Um, I don't know if it's because it's almost midnight, there's not a lot of people around but that kiosk was, uh, E-Gate was super quick and I'm expecting for us to head in to get our luggage hopefully and get on our way. Well, that was weird. That's normally where we would do immigration and customs. We walked right through that, gave it to a customs guy there. He put a little scribble on the piece of paper, and I guess we're just going to continue on to luggage. So I guess we're officially through customs immigration now. So now we're on to luggage. There's our flight, Flair Airlines F8-2611 from Cancun. I guess we landed at 2316 and we're going to Carousel 6 for our luggage. We waited less than five minutes to get our luggage. That's got to be a record. Gone are the days, hopefully, where you'd get off a flight, you'd walk for 10 minutes, you'd get to immigration, customs, wait in line for half an hour, then walk another 10 minutes to get to the baggage luggage here, then wait an hour for it here, and you think, I was already in customs waiting for half an hour. You'd think that would have been enough time for them to get my luggage off the plane down here so I could have picked it up, but no. So just to recap, it was two minutes from my plane seat to that E-gate in order to do my immigration, which is whatever, the, my primary inspection kiosk, the PIK, also called the E-gate. That took us three minutes. That means we're up to five. Then I think it took us four minutes to walk from that E-gate thing through that section of the airport where we would normally be lining up for immigration for a half an hour, went right through that, talked to one person for three seconds, and continued on here to the luggage slash baggage section. That took 
four minutes. So you got two minutes, three, that's five, nine minutes, and we waited five minutes here, that's up to 14 minutes. This has to be a, a record of some sort. Um, Pearson International was voted, recently, voted worst in the world for flight delays and long lines. I haven't seen any long lines here. This is incredible that I can be at this point 14 minutes after I got off the plane. I don't know what's to come here. If it's gonna be, so it's gonna be a shakedown or whatever, but I can't believe how fast this has been. This is by far not the worst airport in the world. It's pretty good actually. Wow, we are officially through the process. From plane seat out into the airport, I'm gonna say between 15, 18 minutes. Uh, incredible, probably a record. I wish I had a better story, but uh, it was that seamless. It was that uneventful. It was that easy. It was that fast. We're gonna walk through the airport here, and if you're looking to get a bus into Toronto, a train, or some sort of transportation somewhere, I'm just gonna walk through here just to show you at what door you would go out to get your taxi or um, what terminal you'd have to go to in order to get a train or a bus that's going into Toronto. I don't know where you're going. We're gonna get in a shuttle and we're not going into Toronto. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna find our shuttle, get on our shuttle, and ski daddle home. I just wanna back around here to come to this screen, just so if somebody's coming to pick you up, all the information, all the flights, are right here for Terminal 3, International Arrivals. You can see that the place that the flight is coming from, it tells you whether it's delayed, it tells you if it's arrived, and if so, what time, and if it's just landed, just to give you information, or the person waiting for you, waiting for you to come out, uh, just to give them some information whether they should be expecting you to come out or not. Especially if you don't have Wi-Fi or you can't send them a text, maybe you're hovering over the airport right now and you can't really talk to them and you can't send them a message. If somebody's sitting here waiting for you, they can look at this board and know where you're at in the process, whether you're delayed or you've landed or you're probably going through the immigration process. So that's why I doubled back just for everyone to see the screen. Going to head over to the wall here. Two reasons. There's a Union Pearson Express, which is a train that goes from the airport to downtown Toronto and a number of drop-off spots in between. Uh, if you need a ticket or you need to know where it's going and where it stops off, here's the information. Likewise, right above that, there's information about at each door here at the airport. If you were looking to get a limo, if you were looking for a car rental, if you're looking for a bus to go downtown, it's going to tell you at every door what is available to you for transportation. I will still walk you through it, but this is a, might be a good diagram for you to look at.
There's a currency exchange if you've just gotten off a flight and you don't have any Canadian money on you, or you've just come back from a flight and you want to change that money back into Canadian money, there it is, especially you know at midnight. If you've got access to that, that'd be good. Door F on your right here, it will give you access to parking, express valet, taxi or a limo, or car rentals. If you want any of those, proceed to your right out the door F, door F. If you're looking for the train to the city, you're going to go right here. You're going to get in an elevator. You have to go over to Terminal 1. If you're looking for the departures level, also you're going to have to hang a right here into the elevator and go up one level. Just up ahead here, there's going to be a desk on the right. It's for the out-of-town shuttles. We have something booked. So we're going to get in that and go home. But I want to say thanks for coming along on this walk. Right from the plane seat into the airport, the primary inspection kiosk, some people call it the e-gate. That immigration was super easy. Then we went and got the luggage. It was really fast today. Then we came into the airport. We looked at that screen just outside. And so people are waiting for you. They can kind of know whether you've landed, whether it's delayed, whether you're going through immigration or what's going on. And then we've looked at the options. If you're heading to downtown Toronto or somewhere in Toronto, whether it be limo, taxi, bus, train etc this was recently voted the worst airport in the world uh, this has been flawless as far as i'm concerned i want to say thanks for coming along on this walk and thanks for supporting the channel i'm going to say ciao for now